Hey guys, let me start today with a question. How many of you know that Sony recently launched three new smartphones? Not a lot of you, right? Now why is that? Sony is a great brand. In terms of tech, Sony is amongst all the popular names. When it comes to cameras, Sony is a well-known and respected brand. But why isn't it the same with their smartphones? Why do Sony smartphones are not selling much? All these questions. So let's try to answer these questions in today's video. So if you remember, Sony entered the smartphone market around 2001 to 2002. At the time, they were in partnership with Ericsson. Their initial smartphones were great and well praised. In fact, in 2007, they had captured 9% of the global cell phone market. Their first Android smartphone came in 2010, which was Xperia X10. Sony managed to reach close to 5% of global smartphone market share at its peak in 2013. But things started to get bad for Sony really soon. You see, first iPhone was launched back in January 2007. And just after its launch, iPhone started catching everybody's eyes. So Sony decided to compete with Apple and they started making premium smartphones. Sony tried Apple's strategy with Android giving users premium priced smartphones. But that clearly didn't work out. Apple at that time offered much better value. They had their own operating system with something different to offer to the users. If you wanted an iPhone, you had to go to Apple and that hasn't changed to this day. But it wasn't the same with Sony. If a user wanted to experience Android with new features, he had other smartphone brands. Users had various options with Android. Android users had a wide variety of smartphones to choose from. So if a user doesn't want a premium priced Sony smartphone, he would just get something cheaper that offered pretty much the same experience. Another reason for Sony's downfall was its bad relationships with US carriers, which resulted in number of problems including Sony not able to provide a fingerprint sensor on its smartphones. The reason for that was never clearly stated, but it was linked to a deal Sony made with one of the US carriers that had a clause about the sensors in it. In spite of this, Sony was still refusing to lower the pricing of its smartphone. Other smartphone manufacturers focused on budget smartphones. Their plan was to acquire customers as much as they could, even if at the cost of high features and lower profit margin. But Sony kept on making premium smartphones and kept on failing to compete with iPhones. Now, another issue with Sony is that they don't have a target audience. There's a very small percentage of users who use Sony smartphones and most of them are professionals in the field of photography. Still that margin is very low and decreasing. So Sony should target a bigger audience but they don't seem to do that. In the past, Sony's Walkman series was specifically targeted towards the youth and that actually worked out for Sony. So it's really surprising that Sony doesn't target a specific region or a specific market. Their recently launched series of smartphones are not even coming in countries like India and they are perfectly fine with it. Apart from this, Sony lacks innovation. They don't have their unique selling point. Apart from their cameras, nothing about Sony smartphones is unique. Even other phones in that similar price range can match Sony smartphone camera quality. Now take example of OnePlus. If you are getting a OnePlus smartphone, you know that you are getting the smoothest possible experience. If you are buying Samsung phones, you know that you are getting the best displays. If you are getting an iPhone, you know that you are getting a whole new experience, longer software support and a completely new ecosystem. Even a Chinese smartphone guarantees a good enough experience in lowest possible price. But a user is not clear what he's getting when he buys a Sony smartphone. Now it's hard for me to consider the 21 is to 9 aspect ratio and USB. We all know that Sony's Bravia lineup of TVs is just great. It has one of the best display quality in the range. Still, which company makes the best smartphone displays? Samsung. Many companies including Apple uses Sony's camera sensors but Sony doesn't do anything remarkable with their own smartphone cameras. Sony doesn't easily adapt to new smartphone trends. Their smartphone design is almost similar from years. So all these things affect their smartphone sales. 
but the biggest thing that I think is responsible for people not knowing about new Sony smartphone is marketing. They don't do aggressive marketing. They don't even send review units to the reviewers. They announce a phone and it's not available after months of its announcement. MKBHD has made an in-depth video about it which is really cool. I will leave a link to that video in description, do check it out. Now I really wish that someday Sony comes with an innovative smartphone that will be very interesting. Sony is a huge company so if they decide they can easily do that. I personally love all the Sony smartphones. The 21 is to 9 aspect ratio, the sharp OLED 4K display panels, their pro mode which lets you control each and every aspect of your camera, it's all really good. But it's not for a normal user. So I really want Sony to make a smartphone for a normal user with great hardware, great cameras and fresh design. So what do you think about Sony's strategy? Let me know in comments down below. Follow me on Twitter at TechXTRJ. So guys, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I am Raj and I will see you guys in my next video.